Welcome to Danielle DeAndre's Kitchen. Today's recipe is my homemade meatloaf. Keep watching to learn. In order for this meatloaf to be tasty, I have a bunch of seasonings we're going to add right now. Starting off with my Gidry's frozen seasoning. Gidry's seasoning is the holy trinity down here in New Orleans. It's a mixture of green celery, bell pepper, and onion. If Gidry's frozen seasoning is not sold to you locally, you can always chop up the three vegetables that I just stated. Next is two teaspoons of minced garlic. Next is three tablespoons of breadcrumbs. I have the Italian style. Mm, let's make it four. Next is about two tablespoons of parsley. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I can say this is probably about four tablespoons. Next is my two eggs. I should have whisked my eggs before I put them in, so I'm just going to whisk them on top of the meatloaf. I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> okay, not too bad. about two teaspoons of black pepper, about two teaspoons of salt, and about two teaspoons of onion and garlic powder. My last dry ingredient before mixing is one cube of beef bouillon. I'm going to break it apart and spread it throughout my entire meatloaf. Now let's mix everything very, very, and when I say very, I mean very well. And this is about two pounds of lean, actually it's 2.25 pounds of lean ground meat. Lean meat is the best to use with your meatloaf because as it's cooking, it won't drain as much fat. a lean meat that will absorb all of your seasoning. After seasoning, I place my ground beef into a large pan. I decided to do a aluminum pan today, but you can also do a glass dish. And now I'm going to form my meatloaf. very simple task. You just have to make sure you're getting all of your meat and putting it all together and making it even in such a way. First I'm going to push everything together to make sure that it's kneading in the inside. So it lets me know that inside the meat is touching.
and I am done. Now let's make the sauce to go on top of my meatloaf. So before I put my meatloaf in the oven, I'm going to top it with a quick sauce. It's simply ketchup, Dijon mustard, and some sweet barbecue sauce. I'm going to cover my meatloaf with aluminum foil and place it inside of the oven on 350 degrees for 50 minutes. At the halfway mark, I'm going to place some more sauce on top and I'll show you how that looks and then you'll see the final results.